What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we'll be playing some Ranked on my alt. So as you can see, I'm still number one on my main, I'm at 1979, but I took a bit of a hit on my alt account. I just lost a match to Cashflow. Um, I, earlier in the week I was actually number three, so I was number one and number three, and our goal is to get all the way from number eight now, back to number three, and possibly at number two. But we're only about like 60 rating points away, but that's you gain really slowly when you're high in the ratings. So it's gonna be tough. Um, 18.99 right now. The loss to cash flow took about like 25 ratings, so that was a big hit. But that's just what you gotta deal with when they're high rankings. Uh, not much for winning, and a lot uh, losing. A lot for losing. Let's see if it's Ripple. Good luck. I'm not sure what faction he plays. I'm playing Growth, and I go second, so that's already a bad start. And I have a pretty good starting hand though. I can go turn two Sister the Fox. Turn four racking and then follow up with a great wolf, uh, great wolf or ancestral totem um, in the mix there. So I like that start, and he's very friendly. He's decay and he's going first. Probably the worst possible thing for me to see. Now I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna want to sack the rat king and play the ragged. No, I'm not going to play the Ragged Wolf. I sacked the Rat King because I think a turn 4 Ancestral Shotum is a better play, and double Great Wolves is going to be awesome. Uh, I don't want to really sack two Rat Kings, that's the problem. So I think I'll sack the Ancestral Totem now, because I have three Ancestral Totems in the deck. I used to use two, now I use three because they're pretty good versus Decay, and a Fertile Soil is pretty good, but... Not great versus decay because it helps their harvesters and stuff, and it's more about getting board control than having more cards. But it's still going to be useful. If I have a chance to play it, I can get some major advantage. So next turn, he gets that out. And I... am going to sacrifice the fertile soil, actually. And play a racking. I could Crimson Bowl, but... That would make it easier to kill, but I don't think I want to waste a Crimson Bowl there. So now that Harvester is dead to Kinvolg Veteran, dead to a lot of things, so that's very nice. So next turn I'll have a Rat King out, try to space up my guys so I don't die to double Return to Nature and he's a Harvester out. And let's see if he has a big threat he's going to play right now. And then I'll start getting the Great Wolves out, so hopefully then he doesn't have any damning curses and then his, har his Harvester is going to go off and so it's going to be really scary. Interesting choice in what he soul stole there. Personally, I would have soul stolen the rat. Not the rat, the wolf, because it's a wolf. Helps no great wolf, and it's a better creature, but whatever. Uh, so now this can destroy this Meyer Shamley next turn if he doesn't have anything to protect it. And I will play a rat king. Um, right here, in case he has. I don't have a rally or anything, so I'm not really worried about moving them too far away from what I want to do this turn but I am going to space them out a little bit one of them's out of the return to nature range so at least that means he can't return to nature right now and make his harvester attack double return to nature I mean so now I have a great wolf and a great wolf languid on my guy right there I have a crimson bull to get rid of that thing but I think it's probably a better option just to Get the Great Wolf down, and what, another Harvester, Rod Eater maybe? I'd rather see another Harvester, because Harvesters aren't going to go off, he doesn't have things to kill my guys. But, by the way, he moved it up, probably he has a Rod Eater maybe? Or no, another Harvester, okay. Interesting, he moves the one with lower countdown and less health in front. Uh, Tough choice, I think I'm going to sack the Sister of the Owl. Could have sacked the Crimson Bull, but I want the Crimson Bull when these rats are attacking, maybe, so I can have a lot of fun killing those harvesters. Uh, I'm gonna move you down just so if he has double return to nature, he can't kill quite everything. If he does have double return to nature, he can't make a harvester attack, which is good. Still, return change would be pretty bad though, because he'd probably use it right here and kill my great wolf as well. So next turn, if I have a crimson bull, I kill two. I kill one of the harvesters, and that's annoying. 
and let's see if he chooses to come a wolf or one of my rats. Harvester's down, I'd like to see. Because that means if I want to run away, I'm allowed to, and he just has to use their damage on like the bottom row. But I may not want to run away. We'll see. Uh, fertile soil, we're going to sack. There's two harvesters out. Probably not a good idea to get that thing out. Um, a damning curse makes his, both his harvesters go off. So I'm going to kill this anyways. Uh, I'm going to run away a little bit. And that's my turn. So now, if he has a damning curse, both of them go off. I'm still left with at least one great wolf, so. And he kills this wolf. It's not the end of the world. So that's why I didn't want to engage. If I went down to try to kill his harvesters, he could damn and curse one of them and kill the other with the other two harvesters. And now I could Sister of the Owl. I already sacked one of the Sister of the Owl, so that's a little bit of a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But that's already done. Let's just keep trying to play. Alright, so now he can't uh, damn and curse and make both his harvesters go off. He could still soul steal and make one of them go off. But she would probably soul steal the rat and move one harvester up to kill that but he doesn't uh tough choice hmm I think I want a crimson bull just to make this thing die and then he has to have this harvester attack at an idol or this wolf that could be a good idea or get damage curse anyways maybe I don't want to do that yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna sister the owl. That's a safer play. And I'll put five damage right there. I'll try to move these guys up. Dirt nature would be pretty annoying, but his harvesters, as I said, are not in a range where they could actually do sufficient damage to me. And they can't even attack yet, unless he gets a soul steal or something. So now. This is where growth kind of shines. I'm putting out creatures faster than he can, and I'm already at six resources, and I have a god hand crimson bolt in my hand. So in all likelihood, I sack whatever card comes up just for resources so I can play god hand the next turn. Or maybe I don't, because I have a crimson bolt as well, so I could just play a crimson bolt the next turn. So we'll see if we can win this as fast as possible before he gets his scary stuff out, like his rod eaters, witch doctors, because those things are hard to destroy as, as growth unless I have great wolves out, which I do, because the relentless helps. And now if he soul steals, don't really care. And damage curse, don't really care either. Because just he just has to is forced to attack nothingness, and I still have Accessor the Owl and at least one great wolf up there. And what does he have? Just alright, so that makes both harvesters go off, and that's probably the worst possible thing, double version of nature there. So he's able to kill one of those guys. One of my great wolves. Uh, not much I could have done there to prevent that, though. But okay, fine. We'll take it. And now, it'd be great if I can get a uh, racking or maybe. I'm gonna sack the crimson bull here. Another crimson. My god hand. I prefer some kind of creature though. It's hard to get these guys all out of return to nature range, but he already used two. Okay, so next turn I could god hand or I could just crimson bowl. We'll see what we want to do. And that was a big play for him that told return to nature. I was I think I was playing a little bit too cocky. I thought it was a better position than I was, because I was thinking, oh soul steel damn curse wouldn't do much, but Double return signature does do a lot. But both those harvesters are at five health now. Five uh, counts out now, so they shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's at a point where he can sack for resources and play Witch Doctor, though. That'd be probably the worst thing to happen right now, because that makes it really hard for me to kill those harvesters. Because a Witch Doctor is so hard to deal with as growth. So, let's see. I don't feel like we really need to use a god hand next turn because all my things are attacking besides the better anyways, but if we need to use that better to kill an extra unit or two, then that's just what, what I'm going to do. And please no witch doctor, please no witch doctor, please no witch doctor. Okay, kills the better, that means I cannot god hand next turn but I have criminal anyways, and he's probably going to 
protect his guys, but I have a crimson bull, so I might still be able to kill the harvester. Um, a ragged wolf or something would be really nice. I already used one ragged wolf though, from in the beginning. It's one card, what could it be? Bite bear, okay. Let's see. Brave. Eh. If I Crimson Bowl, I can go one, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to sack the Brave for cards. Yes, I'm going to sack the Brave for cards. I know that makes me so I can't use a god hit next turn, and I got just a vetter. Come on. Alright, I think I'll just... The thing is... It doesn't help. A, uh... Crimson won't even kill anything extra, so I won't use the Crimson, I'll just vetter. And I can go triple god hand, but I don't have things to put on the board to really do some awesome stuff with that. That is the problem. Uh, because of that, I will simply I want to kill that though, so I'll kill you Uh, Harvester I'll put you up here, I know that's a return to nature problem, but what are we going to do about really? Okay. <sighs> now. Terms of nature would probably be the worst thing he could do, but he already used two, so I'm doubting that. And I really need to get rid of those harvesters. So again, he's another turn to Fisher, a witch, do witch doctor, which would be amazing for him. Alright. And so he's not put, he's gonna destroy an idol with, with uh, a tribesman. I like how he kept tribesman out of because that's less health up there, so that gives me a chance to kill the harvester maybe. That blight bear is annoying though because my guys will get poisoned, but I think to trade off I'll have to make these. I need to destroy those harvesters in the back. He's already gotten two idols down, so two health, destroying one this turn. No creatures in hand. I've triple got him though. It would be very bad if he uh kills my better. He's already used two returns to nature and at least one brain lice, so and at least one soul steal. Okay, so he just gets an oblivion seeker and move the harvester up so I can kill it without having the blood bear go off and all that health. Ugh. Okay. So If I god hand, I can I can kill a, a harvester. I could destroy this entire row, but then this harvester goes off and wipes my entire row. And then he's he's winning. So is that a good idea? No. So I'm going to sack one of these god hands. I have a rally curtain bowl in case I want to use it. Maybe I just sack, I'll sack the god hand. And we get some creatures we could work with. Okay. Uh. Now I'm gonna move down. Because I feel I'm now in a position where. Alright. If he has a return to nature, it'll be terrible absolutely terrible turn to nature damage curse would be also terrible would be more terrible I'm very scared <laughs> but if he doesn't do that this turn I will definitely be able to get a god hand or a rally crimson in and hopefully that will be able to destroy both his harvesters because now I have all these units down here so his three cards in hand hope one of them's not his third return to nature all 
All right. I hope one of them's not a witch doctor either. Okay. And I'd also rather not see another harvester. Come on, just play some like uh, play another Oblivion Seeker. Do that. I can deal with those. Eh, we might be seeing a witch doctor. Maybe no, I don't think we're gonna see a witch doctor now. Okay. And they get Rod Eater, okay. Hmm. It's impossible for us to destroy both harvesters this turn. If we got hand, I can destroy. One of them's gonna go off, which is a pain in the neck. So I'm gonna sack the rally. For resources uh yeah I'm gonna sack the rally for resources and play the great wolf crimson alright so now let's go with a crimson bull so now I'll go five I don't want to get poisoned and kill my stuff so I'll do that row or no I have to do this row, darn. Or no, I could at least use this to attack up here. So I'll do that. Uh, well, isn't this scary? Great wolf. All right. That's uh, stupid. Now all those guys are poisoned. Uh, that may not have been the best play. Man, having a lot of trouble with decay. Uh, Erg. All right, so he, I'm at least left with one great wolf. That's for sure. If he uses all, th he needs to, uh, I don't know. he can't kill all my stuff. That's, I know that I could, I could sneak in and win with a couple God hands soon. I don't really love the way I was playing this game, but there's not really that much I could do because of his harvesters and he protected them well. Darn. Uh. Alright, he's probably thinking of what's the best move for him to make. Even though my veteran's probably gonna die to maybe the harvester or something. I will still be able to god hand, okay. And tribesman, interesting. Okay. So I have one great wolf. And I think it's god hand time. I'll sack the sister of the owl. Quake, not gonna do much. If I spawn the wolf, that's five, six, and then three. See, it still doesn't kill that harvester. Uh. Well. Not gonna. It kills two things. The harvester 
is going to be a low countdown. So very close to losing this, but I guess we'll uh, we'll see. All right. So now I have another god hand. He does not know that. Hopefully he doesn't have Return to Nature. That would be terrible. If he has Return to Nature, that would be terrible. He probably wins then because he could just move that Harvester up and then he probably has a little Darkling or something. Or if he doesn't have a little Darkling, he still kills my Great Wolf and all my other guys besides those two guys up there. Ugh. His Harvester is dead to a Quake. We know that. Do we want a Quake? Probably not, but at least it's an option. No witch doctor, please. Necro get in. You know what? That's a good play because now. Okay. So he wins with a Darkling, but if I the quake now I mean I could use it to kill those things but angel all right so if I got hand that's three and then this would have seven so that's one two three four five six seven that's a dead thing and then that's GG I think that's GG yeah, so this is one, two, three, five, six, seven. Wow. GG, well played. Honestly, I have no idea how I, I pulled that win out. That cut it close. Exactly a perfect amount of idle damage. Oh boy. Well, at least I'm over 1900 now again. I got half of the rating back that I lost to cash flow. And I am. So, let's see. I'm number 7. And hopefully, next video I'll be maybe number 2 right here. Number 1 and 2. That's the goal. So, I thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content. And I'll see you all next time.